I was reading something and it was saying that the average age of um, a male virgin in Japan was like 30 or 31. Oh my God. Wow. And then they're yeah. obviously, they're facing a population decline, which is mm-hmm. now you under, like that's one of the contributing factors. So what do you feel, like what is the driver of this complacency or almost like this social anxiety to connect or this aversion to connect? Because I agree with you. I think you can do most things in moderation and everything, like the difference between a tonic and a toxic toxin is the dosage, right? So it's not to say don't partake in any of these things, but if you're doing it as a way to escape, then that's that's a that's a problem. So like what is the driving factor especially for young men when it comes to like these kind of self-sabotaging behaviors? Like similar to the dopamine circuitry discussion that we just had, I think it is the ease of access of achieving some of these things is so the barrier to entry and ease of access is so low that if you can achieve a successful outcome like neurotransmitter release that you deem to be like achieves a set point of I no longer care and I'm complete, you know, I'm satisfied. I feel like that definitely reinforces the complacent, you know, sedentary behaviors of individuals that kind of just float through life and really don't have to go put themselves through hardship or make high levels of effort into certain activities to achieve those same outcomes that actually, you know, give that signal to your brain. So there's probably more that goes into it. I'm not like a neuro uh, science expert by any means, but it's uh, certainly becoming dramatically more problematic as the years go on. And I feel like the technology and the social media and all that definitely exacerbates it. And I don't think it can be overlooked just how, I don't know, it's the ease of access. It's just like too, it's too accessible for everyone overall to a point where I think the proportion of men who will actually put in the effort to achieve the outcomes they desire is just lower and lower and more people are becoming okay with, you know, underachieving in many areas of their life if they're able to, you know, get the outcome through a lower effort means. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would agree with that. I would agree that it's it is like this really quick, tangible way to feel like you've accomplished something. Like it's a very quick release. And then there is obviously a way to measure that. So you're like, okay, I did do something today, even though it's like, <laughs> that's not something that should be really counted as moving forward with any area of your life. But I would say I also feel like there's almost this weird space that a lot of young men are in where it's trying to find purpose and it's where am I even wanted or where can I excel or where is like my space to run because I feel that whole feminist movement took a lot of space away from men and like a lot of the traditional roles that they had which was provider and protector were saying like we don't need anymore so it's almost like, well, what are they left to do? Like, where is the space for them to achieve or build without that getting demonized? Yeah, yeah. And I think just nowadays with how socially divided so many groups are and whatnot, and I don't know how much, you know, the social distancing and all the stuff played into it. I don't know how much we want to get into that. But in general, I, as as you want to go. <laughs> in, ge- in general, I feel like it's uh Even compared to just like 10 years ago, I feel like it's way less accepted to even have a conversation with a stranger without it seeming creepy or weird or abnormal. So a lot of men are basically conditioned to think that they should not go be, I don't know, like a traditional masculine energy type individual. It was like a bad way to phrase it, but somebody who could otherwise just strike up a conversation with a stranger or a woman and try and uh, even engage in any sort of intellectual discourse whatsoever. Like they are just incentivized to stay home and not be creepy because that's like, you know, the best you can do is just do nothing because you might, you know, do something creepy and that's the worst thing ever. Right. But at the same time, when you're online, there's such a dramatic disparity between, you know, high value men online and who's rich and successful versus, oh, I'm just this random guy with a normal job who's sitting at home most of the time. No woman would want, would want me. And then I think it was like a statistic of, it was like 10% get 90% of the women or something. And that was wow. 10 plus years ago. So now I imagine it's even worse. So, or, you know, something re- proportionally, there is definitely a 
uh, not proportional spread of, you know, one man for one woman. It is very much like a lot of men are stuck in basically a rut of trying to achieve a level of, I don't know, just feeling okay with their lives, even though they are not necessarily happy with where they stand. Mm -hmm.